And now for our 81st Achievement Night honoree, Chris MacGyver. Well, because we got some good news for you, my friends. You're going to be honored with this year's 28th All right. All right. You surely deserve it. Very well deserved. You surely deserve it. It just. Did you check the DC? Yeah, I can't describe it. What y'all have done for him? Yeah, uh, This guy here? <laughs> He's the best. My honor. Oh, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chris has an incredible work ethic. He shows incredible courage, desire, and perseverance after his AVM. He's really just, he never gives up. He works really hard. And we want to support people that want to continue to fight back and have that support along their journey because it's not something that ends because insurance company ends. It's something that they're going to be going on for the rest of their life. Chris was very limited on his right side, unable to move the right arm, unable to move the right hand, limited as well in the lower half, probably with a little more ability in the lower half than the upper half. You know, we've keyed in on the right side. We've keyed in on balance. We've keyed in on just trying to connect the mind to the musculoskeletal system with different cueing techniques, you know, whether it's verbal or physical, you know, point in one direction, and then just total body strengthening and flexibility. What I saw in him was a fighter, you know, and someone who was very determined, very courageous to keep moving forward, make this close to a full recovery or full recovery as possible. And what I saw was sky being the limit because of that effort, that courage. Y'all sick of me yet? I thought maybe I'd tell a bad joke and entertain y'all, but there's much more important things to say, and I uh, want to stay vulnerable here. That's one of the many things that being part of this community has taught me. Um, I want to thank Scott and everyone associated with the Fighting Back program for this community of support. As I said, coming together tonight is absolutely magical. And I think it speaks to the incredible team that we are. There's an energy present throughout this community, and it's an energy that I've only experienced through working with you all. I thank you. I can't thank you enough for what you've done for me is priceless. It really is. It's taught me how to persevere, love unconditionally, and take life in stride. Chris McIver is one of these very special people. I've been honored to work with him for the past four years. Beyond the physical progress that I've seen from Chris over this time, I've learned that he embodies everything that I would consider to constitute the term role model. The effort that he puts into his recovery is only matched and exceeded by the effort and passion that he puts in to be a father, husband, son, coach, and friend. Seeing him serve in these roles is an inspiration. He's the kind of person you'd want on any team. You'd want him in your corner. Um, Part of that has to do with the fact that he can deadlift and press a ton. Um, but so far beyond that, his quality and depth of character has served as a lesson to me, a lesson on how to be better in my roles. He returned to coaching football recently, and that has motivated me to pursue my passions vigorously. He's a remarkably humble, kind, and loving man, and I'm so honored and grateful to work with him and call him my friend. This is a very well-deserved honor for you, Chris. You're an amazing human being and role model. Thank you and to the entire community of support for so profoundly impacting my life.
this is my son, Tristan. Um, thank you to Scott and Ian for giving me this uh, award. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, thank you. Um, I remember um, October and um, just like I was Just how I look like it was. Um, I kissed my wife goodbye. I said goodbye to my son, and then I headed out to work. Um, lunchtime hit, and I was down for the count. Um, didn't know where I was, and uh, I would like to thank um, Excel South, uh, Scott, um, Jared, who worked um, with me or work to get a ambulance um, and Dave and um, Mark, who's my um, who's my angels. Um, they kept uh, waking me up until the ambulance was there. Um, I would like to thank um, Jefferson and Dr. Gooch and his staff. Um, putting my brain back, you know, it's, I don't know, you know, um, you having your brain putting in the freezer and then coming back and putting back on. Um, I thank you. My Bremar staff, Keely, Jess, and Allie. Um, you kept me going every step of the way, and I thank you. Dan and Mike, or Twinkie. I love you guys. What you know? Um, Colleen, Courtney, um, Robin, Rob, and Ryan. You kept my wife sane through all this. Um, Mom C, if you out there on live, I thank you for um, having my back. 
um, mom and dad, uh, mom, you was there. Um, I kept hearing a voice inside me. It was my mom and my wife. So I thank you um, to my big dad. You know how I feel. Um, so thank you for my son. You kept me going all this time. I wouldn't be here without you. Okay, um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, uh, Jenna, my wife, I don't know whatever body fails, but you are the rock in my life. Um, even though we have arguments, but <laughs> 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 But I don't want, I thank you, you gave me life. 